Welcome. My name is Błażej Kotełko. I'm a PM working for Microsoft. And today we will talk about improvements in user experience in Business Central 2024 Wave 2. We have some exciting new changes uh, for you to see. So let's get started and we'll talk about access keys first. This feature allows you to access actions and features of Business Central using keyboard shortcuts. This feature was available or is already available in Business Central uh, since 2023, but only in English. And with this wave, we are bringing this feature to additional languages. The feature is available when you press Alt key. A small key tips show up on screen, uh, indicating which key combination you have to press in order to reach to that feature. And then uh, when we are developing this feature for additional languages, we are trying to be consistent. We are trying to keep some special uh, key combina co combinations and system actions uh, using the same, uh, the same keys, the same keystrokes. You can read more about that at the following link. But also please remember that access keys is not the only feature available for you to be productive in Business Central, because we also have other keyboard shortcuts, system keyboard shortcuts, various application keyboard shortcuts, and so on and so forth. So please uh, have a look at our documentation talking about using Business Central with keyboard. We have interesting changes related to search, and that is search in data, search and lists, uh, and search even in the filter pane. In this wave, we introduce multiple changes behind the scenes. You will have other sessions in this event talking about uh, server changes related to a search optimization. Uh, but essentially, we're introducing a search that is based on a full text search technology rather than matching characters. This allows for the search to be much faster and more flexible for the users. Let's see that in a demo. When I'm in Business Central and I go to a list which is enabled for that modernized search, let's go to items, I can see in my search box right now two different options, a modern search and a legacy search. If I would choose the legacy search and try London chair, that item is not found because there is no exact match. This legacy search was based on specific matching of the search term or characters. When I switched to the modern search, this item was found because we were able to match individual words. Not only that, this search experience is much faster because it is based on a special full text index based on columns that are indicated with this little icon. As a developer, you can also control which columns are optimized for this new search experience. And you can also extend Business Central uh, and add that specific parameter to, um, to our tables. I encourage you to tune in to other recordings in this collection where my colleagues are talking about this technology from the developer's perspective. This feature is coming in waves. Uh, it will be delivered uh, starting from October and it will show up for multiple tables in Business Central, starting from the main data, like items and customers and sales orders, and then uh, being available also for other tables later on during this wave. Let's talk about uh, additional features and we'll talk about resizing column first. We have this feature in the product already but it was always based on personalization. And personalization is not always enabled. You can disable personalization for a given role. And also, there are some pages in the product where personalization is not possible. And then, uh, resizing columns uh, was not enabled. In this wave, you will see that the experience to resize columns is much faster. It is stored locally in your browser, but it is still 
based on personalization when needed. Uh, that way it is um, available for pages that were not uh, enabled before, like for instance, copilot prompt dialog pages where you have results from your copilot. Um, now you can resize columns and, and manipulate that much easier. And then of course, if your personalization is enabled, your choices will be stored within your profile as before. We have also added a new parameter to the web client where you can control the layout of the page. And that way you can force the Business Central web client to open in specific layout. And most notably, you can open in analysis mode so you can create links and share analysis mode um, between users. And that way, open the analysis modes directly, directly using uh, a single link. And of course, that also supports other modes, so you can open a standard list, a tiles, or, or even tall tiles. This feature is coming in 25.1, so you will expect that uh, released a little bit uh, later than, than just uh, at the beginning of October. All right, let's talk about attachments and uploading files. Over to you, Ivan. So, thank you, Blaje. So, drag and drop uh, functionality to attach multiple files in Business Central uh, makes it easier to manage files or even folders, as you will see. This feature benefits users who work with uh, multiple files and adds value to organizations by enhancing data organization accessibility while making users uh, more productive. So, what better way to, to see that but to see it in action? So, let's switch to the demo. Let me start by showing you the first place where you can actually manage multiple files. All of you are uh, well aware of a purchase order and the purchase documents usually have some incoming files associated to them. Right now, being a uh, purchasing agent, I can see I received an invoice and my company also requires me to provide some additional sort of proof of work before uh, re receiving uh, services or sending that uh, purchase order uh, for, uh, for further invoicing. What I can do today, and this is a new action that we've added, you can add uh, supporting documents. And an interesting thing uh, you can see right now, it says drop files. It means it can handle now multiple files. So I can pick like two or three files and simply drag them uh, in here. They get uploaded and you can see them in the list. What's even more cool about this thing is you can actually, today, you can actually drop a fo whole folder uh, in an upload, uh, in, a, in a new upload files dialog. So this is one place where you can actually handle, where, where users can handle uh, multiple file uploads. Another thing where the most of our users are using this is also document attachments. As you can see on top in here, we have this legacy attachment uh, fact box, and this is a new uh, attachment uh, fact box that can now handle uh, multiple files. You have the well-known and the same actions that existed in the uh, legacy attachments. So you can simply click Upload Files, again, uh, drag or drop or select multiple files in there, and you can actually execute the, the well-known actions like opening the file in OneDrive or actually looking at the list of the attached documents as you were, uh, you were used to doing that before. And the third place where you can actually uh, see all of that is in the email, uh, send email dialog. So I'll go to the vendor and I'll, I'll set send email. And now if you scroll down and if you want to add uh, multiple attachments, again, you can simply uh, drag or drop uh, multiple files or you can select them manually. And that's it. So what you saw in this demo was a new document attachments uh, component. And as you saw, it can be uh, accessed from uh, multiple places, from incoming documents, from document attachments, from email dialogue. These are basically the places where more than 90% of uh, Business Central users actually uses uh, to upload uh, files. The files can now be uploaded either one by one or you can select multiple or you can even pick uh, the folders. You get a quick and easy overview of the files and of course, uh, 
you, you can do all of that with a way, uh, way less clicks. And don't forget uh, one other thing, that legacy document attachments, part of the fact box, is now getting obsolete. So it's perfectly fine to go to your personalization settings and once your users get used to the, the new document attachments, you can hide uh, the old one. And that's, that's not all. Of course, uh, handling multiple file uploads comes also with the support uh, for uh, AL developers. You now have two new properties on action that you can define that an action is going to handle multiple file uploads. You can define uh, allowed file extensions. And there is a, uh, also a trigger that can handle the upload of, uh, upload of those files that users have selected. If you want to learn more about that, make sure to check out uh, 2024 Release Way 1 uh, video on what's new in uh, developer tools. These properties were explained already uh, in there. And that's it. All right. Thank you, Ivan. That was great. And this is all in this recording. Thank you very much.